Hey guys, welcome to Art Geek Store and in this video I will be telling you around 5 or 6 tweaks that are available on Cydia and that are compatible with iOS 7. Now as you guys might be knowing that the iOS 7 untethered jailbreak has been released but it has not been much of time. So as a result there are not many tweaks that are compatible with iOS 7. Now I had done a small research after which I had made a list of these 6 tweaks that are pretty cool and they are compatible with iOS 7. So to begin with I have hidden settings 7 as you can see on my screen. So after you go on Cydia and over here when you click on search and type out hidden settings 7 this is what you will be shown. Now after you have installed this, this basically allows you to modify your phone to a very large extent. So as you can see in the control panel below airdrop you have springboard settings. Now as soon as I click on this it does give me many options to customize my phone. So as you can see there is parallax, folders, icon animations and a lot of stuff here and below that you will see animation overrides and inside you can see that we have slow animations so now when you select slow animations click on done now all your animations on your phone will be really slow so let's try it out with YouTube now as soon as I click on YouTube you will see the animation as as in when YouTube opens will be really slow as you can see how slowly YouTube is launching and after I close YouTube it will close slowly as well now this might be irritating but it's so as you can see in the taskbar also sorry multitasking bar it is slow again so you can turn it off I mean it is annoying at times but you can just use it for cool effects so I've turned it off and you can click on done Alright, next up I have the lock screen tool. Now this is another cool, uh, you know, customization to your phone. So as you type in uh, lock screen tool on Cydia, you will be shown this and you can install it. Now how this works is, you need to go to settings, scroll down and at the bottom you will see that we have the lock screen tool. Now when you click on it, you will have some uh, options to customize your lock screen. So the first one is which says show text and it's show text on the lock screen actually it's and but it should be on anyway show text on the lock screen now when you're on the lock screen as it says slide to unlock now if you select as in deselect or you know or turn this option off uh, the slide to unlock text will not be seen or will not be visible on the lock screen also uh, at the bottom you can see write text so by default the text on the lock screen is slide to unlock whereas in this case you can edit it and whenever you lock the screen the text which you typed in will be visible so you can edit the lock screen text now the next thing that you can edit or you know customize is the hide button camera so rather it should be hide camera button I don't know why there are so many errors anyway so when you turn this off the you know the shortcut on the lock screen for the camera will not be visible so this is how it lets you customize your home screen or I mean the lock screen alright next up I have the software update killer now this is not a customization option to your uh, iPhone or iPad but you know this is useful when your device is jailbroken so what it basically does after installation is that whenever you have a software update say for example if you have jailbroken on 7.0.3 and there is an update for the iOS firmware 7.0.4 now usually what happens is that you get a small red badge over the settings icon saying one and that uh, usually notifies that you have a software update now this basically kills the software update and it does not allow you to see that if there is an update or not and it also hides the small annoying badge that appears on the settings icon now this is basically designed so that you are not you know this is basically designed for your own safety because many a times when by mistake you might just click on update so it updates your iPhone and this may result in the loss of jailbreak so you'll have to jailbreak your devices again so basically this has been made so that there is no update available whereas you can update your device if you connect it to iTunes or maybe you can update it after deleting this tweak so it is basically designed uh, so that you do not uh, you know update your device by mistake and lose your jailbreak next up I have swipe selection now this is my you know my favorite tweak as of now so it basically allows you to customize your keyboard to a small extent but you know it is really useful so I'll show you how it works 
Now after you've installed it, just head on to notes and uh, for example I create a new note and I'll just type in something my name is alright that's it so uh, now what this basically allows you is if you swipe your finger on your keyboard as you can see I will be allowed to move the cursor so this is really very useful in many cases when you have to edit some words or edit some letters now another feature that is offered by this is that if you hold the shift button and if you slide you will see that you will be able to select it, able to select text and then you can copy or cut or paste it so this one is really useful and is and it is one of my favorite tweaks next up i have for you is switch spring now this is another tweak that i really like now what this basically allows you is to customize your multitasking bar so i'll show you how it works now as you can see i'm on my multitasking bar and usually what you notice is when you try to slide this upwards it does not happen now in this case it happens and then after you've slided the main home screen it asks you whether you want to restart your device quit all apps or cancel so basically what this allows you to do is to slide the home screen from the multitasking bar and then you can directly restart your phone by clicking the restart option or quit all apps so I'll show you when I quit and I, when I select quit apps it quits all the apps in the multitasking bar as you can see all my apps have been deleted from the multitasking bar so guys that's all about this video now these were the only tweaks that I personally know that are compatible with iOS 7 if you guys know any other tweaks you're most welcome to comment them in the comment section down below and let me know so that I can even make videos and explain to my subscribers and viewers how awesome the tweaks are so that's all for this video I generally do hope that you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure to hit the like button comment and subscribe as always I will see you in the next thank you